சம்பந்த நான் வந்து எப்பவுமே ஒரு டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கேரக்டர்ஸ் சூஸ் பண்ணுவேன் ஒன் கேரக்டர் ஒன் பி த சேம் ஃப்ரம் த ப்ரீவியஸ் கேரக்டர் ஸோ தட்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் பின் லாஸ்ட் த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் பார்த்திங்கன்னா எல்லா கேரக்டரும் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட்டாக இருக்கும் ஏன்னா ஆடியன்ஸ் ஆல்சோ வில் பி போர்ட் ஆஃப் யூனோ தேர்ட்டீன் இயர்ஸ் சேம் ஆக்டர் ஹாவ் டு இவால்வ் ரைட் ஸோ எனக்கு வந்து அது கிளியராக டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் தெரியுது யசோதாக்கும் சாகுந்தலமுக்கும் த பாடி லாங்குவேஜ் சரி த the expressions the bo- uh, the the way i sit stand everything needs to be different sorry correct puri lane sir and the telugu cinema portha varaikum triple r ku vandu actually na vandu kadai kekumbodu I was shocked that in the Kada on the 5th century, uh, it was written as a Abhijnana Shakuntalam in the 5th century. Anna, I was shocked that now on the contemporary woman of today, but it is abs- I was absolutely re- able to relate to Shakuntala because here was a woman who did everything for love, for devotion. She went against societal norms. uh she fought for her place in society she raised a, a great son uh, as she was probably the first single mother ever <laughs> right so how can you that not be relatable to each one of us today so i think that this is the most contemporary character uh, that i probably have played even though it might be set in this setting the feelings of love emotion betrayal redemption they are all what you you and i feel today so that's why shakuntalam is relevant even today hi sir hi hi you said that uh, you uh, alwaha was a born superstar what's your experience with her uh i think she's a cutie pie uh, she you're going to see on april 14 the every time she comes on screen there's automatically a smile on everyone's faces so she was born for the big screen <laughs> hi sam you're looking absolutely gorgeous so are you thank you i love your curls yeah thank you <laughs> so i wanted to ask doing an epic movie a period movie is entirely different from doing a commercial film right and you're doing an epic character also so what is the major challenge what is the major challenge you faced in becoming shakuntala uh i think that uh, usually you know when you're acting in nitty gritty real characters you're just mostly concentrating on getting the expressions right not really concentrating on how your body is moving and how your the story that your body is telling but uh, with shakuntalam i had to make sure that like every part of like my body was in tune to the character and telling the story consistently there was because even a slight change or a slight um modernness to the way i was being presented would uh, ruin the whole effect of it and also apart from that apart from the fact that yeah i did do a lot of uh, workshops for the physical aspect of gimme to her, who was who had so much depth and who had so much there was spirituality there was there was it had high gundan and nayantara also Uh, so my question is you have acted with uh, actors from across the country have you noticed anything in particular okay. have you noticed anything in particular about malayali actors in their way of acting in their style of acting i just started my yeah, entire born actors. I, for- i i forgot to speak about my own film and i started uh, talking about only malayalam actors and how inspiring they are um of course there is a very very uh, you don't if i think that when I worked with every Malayalam actor it was like going to a little bit of acting school because um you know when we act we tend to ha- have a comfort level of our pauses the way we take pauses the way uh, we go into a rhythm that becomes uh, you can tell Sam- uh, Samantha she'll do this but I think that that surprise factor happens a lot with Malayalam actors they'll surprise you you'll think that fahad fazal will do this but he won't do that <laughs> so i think that way most malayalam actors have that um, edge in acting and i think bad that they have this kind of talent 
Thank you so much. Thank you, Sam. Sir, Adikiya, I am giving you only three questions. All the time, I am only asking you. Choudhary, you will get the mic. Yes. Hi. Very long back, you were uh, audition for a Dilip movie, actually in Malayalam, and uh, unfortunately, you missed that for after screen test. And right now, you are here with Shahkuntala in Kerala. How do you feel about your journey, looking back? I remember being rejected from many, many auditions. I, 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 I have conveniently forgotten all of them. <laughs> But I do remember facing a lot of rejection initially in my career. I, I do remember auditioning quite a bit. And um, you are asking me how I feel now about the rejections, or the whole looking back your journey. Your I think that. uh i can't take full credit for my journey i got the i was lucky enough to work with the best in the industry in in all of them telugu and tamil and i think that a lot of my success um should be shared doing well hi uh so a while ago you just mentioned that uh, you choose characters very differently and you try to keep it very interesting so when choosing like when you were playing for shakuntalam do you have any did you have any personal connect with the character and for the previous characters also what was your uh, personal connect to the character sorry to interrupt but this will be the last question please do answer okay i think i i i answered this question about my personal uh, connect with the character and um, i am uh, going to use this opportunity to speak about the film the film you know it i whenever i was growing up for me if i was happy i would go to disney if i was sad i would watch disney films disney films for a lot of us are uh, kind of like therapy <laughs> it just touches your soul and it makes you happy so i have always dreamt of uh, being a part of a film where you know that makes you forget uh, that makes you forget the reality and the harshness of reality and disconnect from maybe your day to day problems and get transported into a different world and that's what my director gunashekar sir has done with shakuntalam the first 10 minutes you you are transported into a world and you you live in that world and uh, i finally got to play a part in such a film that is prepare to be disnified on april 14th that's all i would say you know with even with working with dev i remember that uh, on the first day of his shoot i was standing with guna sir and i was having a conversation and we have a lot of girls on our set like there are always like many girls uh, in every department there are girls so uh, suddenly we were talking and like there was a change of reaction on every girl's face and there was a like every girl was like turning towards the entrance of the <laughs> of the set and it was dev coming as dushyant in the first time in in all of in like in looking like a prince and he is prince charming from the word go from the first day of on set dev was prince charming and and it was like he was the prince from all of our story of our uh, you know story books growing up so everything fit perfectly in this beautiful world i have animal characters who are my friends uh, it's absolutely a, it's a magical forest and it is our culture it is our story why are we always looking forward to um, something that's out of our country now this is something that is so Uh, rooted in our culture in our history and i think that it is going to be quite surprising for all of you all on april 14 to watch what you all are going to watch in shakuntalam i have my own disney film <laughs> yes. nice way of putting that thank you thank you so much in the interest of time we'll have to wind up the press interaction now once again thanking the entire team of shakuntalam for coming down to